I made a bunch of Star Wars stuff in Horizon Worlds, and I'm giving it all away for free. Sound good? Yes? All right? Let's get into it. Guys, there is so much here uh, that I'm excited to share. We've got lightsabers, obviously. We have also got costumes. Uh, we got working starships, all different types, uh, and just a whole lot of other stuff. And I will be giving them away in two ways. Uh, first, in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can import these assets and scripts into your world. And in future videos, I'm going to break down these models and the scripts uh, so you can build them yourself, improve on them, mix and match, whatever you want. Uh, before we get into that, let's take a look at what we got. Obviously, we have lightsabers, probably the core Star Wars item. Uh, I tried to make them as accurate as possible, but I'm sure you can do better, and I would love to see that. We have Anakin's, we have Vader's, we have Luke's green saber, uh, we have Mace Windu's, we have the dark saber, which brings me so much joy. Ah! It's awesome. Um, all of these work. You can pick them up. They turn on. You can hear that hum. Uh, they will register a hit event on a player. See it? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Um... If you throw it, uh, if the saber is on, it will come right back to your hand, <laughs> uh, which is super fun. Uh, if you turn it off, if you throw it or let it go, then they just go back to their original spot. Awesome. Uh, and they all interact with one another, so they clash. Uh, it's very satisfying. Hang on, I just have to do this. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. Oh God, that's the best. Um, again, brings me just an endless amount of joy and I hope it brings you joy too. Awesome. Okay, what else? Uh, well, I have these fun helmets. You got Yoda or Baby Yoda, as is your preference. Very fun. Uh, Ahsoka. Let's try this one on. Let's see if I can get this. Come on now. Come on now. All right. Ooh, not too shabby at all. Very nice. Uh, I've got the Mandalorian's helmet, obviously. That's good stuff. And Boba Fett, can't forget him. Um, I have actually also made uh, Boba Fett's gauntlet. There it is. And it's got a rocket launcher. Look at that. Shoot stuff, it explodes. And it's even got a flamethrower. Uh oh. Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, no, no, no. This is good. This is good. I'm going to show you how to fix this. Uh, Horizon Worlds is still a bit buggy, and sometimes you get these. Uh, little hiccups with your assets, but don't panic. Um, so all you have to do to fix this is uh, actually you just have to go to your build view. You're going to zoom in on the item that's a little bit wonky. Let's see, open up the item menu. And now zoom in. Now zoom back out. And let's see. Let's see if this fixed it. Yes! Oh, look at that flamethrower. Ah, very good, very good, very good. See, there's always a fix for everything. Awesome. So that's all stuff you can use for ground combat. But, as we know, a lot of Star Wars happens in the air. Well, uh, well okay, not in the air. Technically, but in the void of space. I actually know sometimes in the air. You know what? It doesn't matter. Check out these starships! Yay! <laughs> okay, I am... Uh, super proud of these. Uh, they can fly, they can shoot and send hit events to each other, they track their own health and damage. Uh, there are a ton of effects and sounds, all of which I'm going to show you how to create in a future video, so you can make anything you want. Uh, as you can see, I made some of my favorites. We have the X-Wing, uh, the TIE Fighter, the N1, uh, and they even have a few different styles of flight, which I'm going to show you now. So let's look at the X-Wing. Uh, you can climb to the cockpit where you can see your ship's health display, grab the control stick, R2 says hello, and you just press and hold the trigger to fly. All right. You can shoot by pressing button one. The projectile collisions have sounds and poof effects. Uh, keep in mind that Worlds really likes to keep your avatar upright, so if you rotate a bit too much, you will fall out. Uh, it's best to keep a steady hand. And look at that. There you go. But if you want a steadier flight, I also scripted uh, this TIE Fighter that does not rotate. Uh, so you can jump on in, there's the health display, and now you can see it turns, it will go up and down, but it won't you know, pitch. Uh, so that just makes it a little easier to fly. You get less maneuverability and it's a bit harder to aim, but I think it's a fair trade-off. And, and these are just scripts running on different models, so you can absolutely switch them up. Um, and I'll go into details in a later video when I do the Starship Breakdown. 
One thing I really love about building in worlds is that you can be watching a show or a movie, see something you like, and just go build it. Uh, Book of Boba Fett reintroduced the M1 Starfighter. I built it, I just attached the Exxon script, and it works perfectly. I also made Luke's land speeder from A New Hope. Uh, this is really just to showcase this uh, driving script. Uh, so you see it goes, but it stays flat. Uh, this was actually surprisingly tricky to script, but I will get into that in a future video. Uh, okay, what else? I created a health management system that responds to events from the lightsabers. So if you get hit too many times and... Oh, Right, you see your health going down. Oh, okay. Ah, a couple more. And a look at that. You respawn in the back to tank, uh, which regenerates your health, and that's all pretty useful for uh, any kind of PvP. Uh, what else? Um, ah, so uh, I created this force gate. Uh, it's basically a power-up trigger that increases your speed and jump for a limited amount of time. I set it to 60 seconds. Uh, you can change it to whatever you want. And uh, you can use it as a power-up or for a race, or you can even attach the script to one of the helmets uh, if you want to give the players special powers. Oop, look at that. Let's see how fast this goes. Can we make it to the destroyer? Oh, uh, uh, uh. oh, no, just, just short. Sorry, I just have to do this because I never get tired of it. <laughs> yes, awesome. Okay. Uh, oh, so check this out. So we have Vader's ship over here, which I shot earlier. Uh, it has a script that makes him follow you, and you just grab the trigger object. Oh, oh there he goes. Okay. Oh, and uh, and the cool thing is that if he senses that there's a ship in front of him, uh, he will actually fire on that ship. And let's see if he does it. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, there. <laughs> okay, that is uh, actually kind of legitimately terrifying. Uh, alarms are going off. Um, it's a lot, but it's also uh, a really cool script. It's really fun for like a single player level. I actually have that in a level that I will show you later. Um, but yeah, extremely fun and useful script. I also made this TIE Fighter, uh, just so you kind of have a blank asset to work off of. Um, oh, and if uh, Vader uh, following you freaks you out, I also made this little BB-8. Look at that. Look at him. He's rolling right toward you. Hey there, little friend. Adorable. All right, that's enough. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, one last thing to show you, and it's this turret gun. It is uh, not currently firing, but you can easily set it to fire continuously, and not only that, but if you shoot it, it registers the hit event and turns off. So let me show you that. We'll just grab Fat's gauntlet. And... Actually, you know what? Look over there. You see the X-Wing is smoking. That's because it registered the event when Vader shot it. A lot easier than it looks. I'll show you later. Anyway, back to the turret. So, like I said, all you have to do is shoot it. Boom, look at that. The color goes out, it turns off, there's the spark effect. Really cool and useful mechanic for flying games. Let's just put that back respectfully. And that's it. Uh, that's a lot. Uh, but again, I'm giving these all away because I want to see what kinds of Star Wars worlds and experiences people can build. Uh, so if you like them, uh, I'll have future videos on how you can make them yourself. But if you just want to import these templates and start messing around, you can do that too. How? Well, all I'm asking is that you come to this world in Horizon Worlds. Again, it's called Star Wars Templates. Pretty simple. Uh, just leave a like and a selfie of yourself with an asset you think is cool uh, so I know who you are. Or if you want, you can just leave a comment on this video with your Horizon's name and ask to be added. Uh, once I add you as a collaborator, that should give you access to Star Wars Templates in build mode. So you can come, you can look under the hood of any model, or script. You can even build a little cairn here of a Star Wars figure. Uh, just please, please, please don't make any changes to the assets or scripts. That's super important. Um, otherwise, honestly, just come and interact with this page in any way and tell me you want to be added as a collaborator. I'll add you and then you'll be able to import this world into your own and let me show you how to do that. To import a world like this one, uh, just go to your main menu. There we go. Go to World Creation and create a new world. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. I'll just keep it blank world for now. So give it a moment. It'll take us there. Come on now. Sometimes it takes a moment. I'll just fast forward. Get there. Get there. Okay, <laughs> here we are. Uh, and now, once I've added you as a collaborator, uh, you're in your blank world. Just go back to your creation menu. There it is. Uh, find Star Wars templates. 
click on the info icon, and then these three dots over here, and look at that, import world. And so you just have to give it a moment to import the scripts and assets into this blank world. Come on now. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> well, okay, it's having a hard time because there is a lot here. Um, but, boom, there it is. Um, and okay, so you see a bunch of the effects are going off. Uh, that's no big deal. You just go into build mode and it should reset. Let's see if we can do that. All right, and back to preview mode. Yep, all good. Um, and uh, just keep in mind that sometimes when you import, you'll find things are a bit buggy or some of the effects or connections have been broken. So you can fix most of these uh, like I'm doing now. You just select the item, zoom in uh, and zoom back out like we did with Boba Fett's gauntlet. Um, and it should, uh, it should all work. Zoom in, zoom out. That's it. Let's see. And, yep, all works. Good stuff. And that is how you import. Uh, again, please only make changes after you've imported this stuff into your own blank world. Don't make any changes to, on the template world uh, for obvious reasons. Um, that's how you do it. Go to Star Wars Templates and Horizon Worlds. Again, leave a like uh, and a selfie if you want collaborator access, or you know you can just leave a comment on this video. Uh, just make sure to include your Horizon's name so I know who to add. And feel free to ask any questions and look out for future videos where I'll break down how everything works. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Bye.